How did your mother learn Yiddish? In the home, absolutely. I think Yiddish was the, lang the primary language. Um, there was some Hungarian, because I think there was someone working in the home who, as you said, spoke to her growing up who was Hungarian, um, and English. Uh, but my mother's uh, Yiddish was absolutely fluent and um, real traditional Yiddish. Um, so she always maintained it. And again, while my grandparents, my father's parents, who lived in New York, uh, were alive, we saw them all the time. And so there was Yiddish even in our home. There was always Yiddish being spoken. I do know that when my mother, even later on, would run into even Hasidim, who some of whom may not have even spoken to women ordinarily, but my mother's Yiddish was so good uh, that they immediately would lapse into a conversation with her, and she loved to find people who would speak Yiddish with her. So, She taught at City College for many, many years, professor of education, and in the early days there were a lot of Yiddish speakers there, so she really had an opportunity to use it. Obviously, as time went on, and she stayed there until very shortly before she, she died, so Later on, there was less and less of that opportunity. So, um, however, she did, uh, we received the Bir Bajana Stern, which was the daily Yiddish newspaper from Bir Bajan, the Soviet Union. We received that for a long time um, and would always comment if there was, if the neighbor's gardener came and the van was parked outside across the street, we always thought maybe that was the KGB wondering why, uh, you know, <laughs> so the writings from newspapers from the Soviet Union were arriving uh, at our doorstep every day. But she read that paper <clears throat> and she later secured a grant from City College to do an educational exchange program with teachers in Birbajan. So she traveled there. Uh, on several occasions, and then brought two teachers back here to study as well, who we're still in contact with. They've since left Birbajan, but um, they were trying to teach English as a second language and use educational practices that my mother helped introduce there. I always had the sense that my mother really was an impassioned Yiddishist throughout her life. That's partly what drove me to sort of be here today, is we did not get the language from her, because we just didn't. You know, my grandparents died when we were 12 and 13. Um, so we didn't get the language per se, but we certainly got the sort of the enthusiasm and the interest uh, in the history of the language and the Yiddish culture.